what's the deal with Squarespace? Isn't WordPress cheaper? <laughs> oh boy, this one's really loaded. Welcome to 10 days of website tips for tiny businesses and nonprofits leading up to the launch of the awesome websites membership. Tip number four. Okay, there are way more than two choices for website builders. There's like a million, but these are the ones that I usually get asked about. So generally my recommendation is that if you do not have a ton of time and you do not have a lot of patience with technology, just go with Squarespace. Now, obviously this is painting with really broad strokes. Both Squarespace and WordPress are really popular and really great for totally different reasons. Squarespace might be more expensive out of the box, but generally it has everything that a tiny business needs. It's better out the gate for SEO than Wix, and most people think it's more intuitive too. There's really no plugins that you need, no additional costs, and basically no technical maintenance in the long run. WordPress sites are usually appealing because they can be made cheaper up front, but the interface tends to be <laughs> really super confusing for people who are not web designers. And there's pretty much always going to be plugins and extra cost involved that can be just really hard to account for ahead of time. Plus there's the ongoing technical maintenance of keeping everything updated and playing nice together. So before you dive into one builder, do some research on what you actually need. Follow me for more tiny website tips. And if you haven't gotten on the wait list for my new membership yet, what the heck are you waiting for? There's going to be tons of awesome, easy tips like this and even some one-on-one -on -one support if you need it. See you there.